Hello, going to have a chit chat about group two trends. So, starting point, periodic table. Hopefully you can find group two. Let's have a look at beryllium. Beryllium, four protons in the nucleus and two shells. The inner shell with two electrons and the outer shell with two electrons. These electrons can be lost to leave a 2 plus iron. That trend follows throughout the group. Let's have a look at two other atoms in the group, calcium and radium. Um, put the electrons in and uh, we'll just show the electrons in the outer shell. Calcium can lose both electrons forms a 2 plus iron. Radium similarly can lose the two electrons. In fact it will lose them more easily, more readily because they're further from the nucleus and you've got electron shielding effects um, allowing them to be more freely lost therefore reactivity of radium is greater than calcium. Reactivity increases as you go down the group. Look at the radius of the atoms as you go down the group clearly the radius will increase because of the number of shells increasing uh, so we have our first trend um, atomic radius plot that atomic radius increases as you go down the group you get something like a little bit of a curve like that okay um, similarly ionic radius will increase uh, once you have lost the two outer electrons, clearly beryllium will be a smaller, have a smaller radius. However, the pattern is the same. The radius of the ions increases as you go down the group. Right, next pattern, charge density. Let's explain that a little bit. We'll go back to our calcium and radium. The calcium has a 2 plus charge which uh, is represented across this whole atom. Radium has a 2 plus charge which is distributed across a larger volume. Therefore the charge density is greater in calcium, has a higher charge density. Uh, so this time, starting with beryllium, charge density decreases as you go down the group and that's important because charge density has an effect on some of the properties that we're going to look at for example um, thermal stability of carbonates so we've got a group one group two carbonate uh, becoming uh, an oxide and releasing carbon dioxide so let's have a little look. So we've got barium here. Barium will come along and form uh, barium carbonate and um, it has no effect or little effect on the carbonate anion. However, if we bring calcium in, calcium has a high charge density and what that does is it polarizes the carbon atom. The electrons are drawn towards the calcium and the carbonate ion is polarized and that means that it's more likely to break down uh, and decompose into an oxide and carbon dioxide. So if we look at the thermal stability of carbonates, uh, the stability is lower for the top of the group. Um, so they break down more readily because uh, the high charge density on the iron uh, polarizes the anion. So that's the end of part one. Um, join me for part two.